All right, hello. Um, this is going to be a review of the Visionaire fountain pen. Now, if you're watching this, I imagine that you know that the Visionaire was a Kickstarter project started back in, I believe, in August, possibly a month before. I know it ended in August. Anyway, I was one of the unlucky souls that bid in on the project, and I ended up purchasing, I got the Black Visionaire and the Chrome Visionaire. So, in the past few... I guess in the past month there's been a lot of controversy over the pen and the validity of its creator and whatnot, and I'm not going to get into that, but I figured since because of that the pen deserved a review. So here it is. Out of the box you'll have your tube, which inside of it you'll have a very nice pen slip bag thing. You know, it's made out of nice velvet material. You'll find a pen in it. Pop it out. Inside of the pen you will find a converter as well as it came with two boxes, five each of small international, small standard international black ink cartridges. Now the black ink I did test it out. I don't have them with me here. Test it out. They're not terrible. I mean it's not noodles black. It's not that deep but it's perfectly fine black ink. Um, the tube is very nice. Um, I suppose if you're a uh, cigar smoker or something like that, you might be able to use that as maybe a travel case or, I don't know, maybe keep, uh, I don't know, pens in it, something in it. It's useful, it's very nice. Um, the slip is nice, I mean, maybe if you have a nice, uh, I said nice about a thousand times there. Uh, maybe if you have a, a more expensive pen you like to carry around, if you don't have a leather slip, you might be able to keep it in there. This pen, I don't. You know, I don't really care as much about it. I wouldn't put it in there. I mean, you could if you don't have anything else. Um, the converter that it comes with is very nice. Um, it's got a nice clear barrel. Nice hard plastic. Comes apart very easily. This band just unscrews here. This uh, silver band. Just unscrews right off and everything pulls off so you can lube it up. You can clean it. And the, you can take the agitator out if you'd like. You'll get a little bit more ink capacity if you do. And you really don't need it unless you're dealing with like a very heavy, heavy uh, dyed ink or a uh, pigmented ink. Other than that, you really, really don't need it. So we put that all back together here. And also in the package you get a little thank you note from Morgan. Um, it's just a photocopy thing, something he hand wrote, Dear Visionary Followers, if you'd like, you know, pause the video, you can read what he had to write. comes with a little founder's card that you can use. It has on the back of it a uh, discount code for his website where you can buy more of these fabulous pens. And on the back it just has his name and the website. Why you would visit a website, don't know. But, the pen. It's a nice looking pen. I paid $35 for this. I paid total $70. I got two pens. So $35 a pen. The finish on it is very nice. I know a lot of people had issues with the chrome flaking off or the um, the etching being a little too deep. And I don't know if you can see, but it says Visionaire. Try to get it. See, it says Visionaire right around the band there. Um, I don't have any of those issues. The finish is very nice on it. It's uh, very consistent. The pen is made out of brass, so it's a nice hefty pen, but it's not a big pen by any measure. Um, fits nicely in the hand. It posts nicely. So in that respect, it's a nice pen. Also, one of my favorite, probably the best thing about this pen is the click. Love the click. So if you do choose to post, I like to post, but with this pen, the cap is very heavy, so it will give it a lot of back weight. Um, and it's not a huge issue for me. Um, you're going to look here. The nib that it comes with is just a standard IPG nib. Nothing fancy about it. I don't know. Can we get it in there? Focus. Oh, well, you can see. Iridium Point Germany. It won't focus that close. But that's all it says. There's no size marking on it. Um, it's definitely not a German nib. The tipping has to be German for it to be marked Iridium Point Germany. But that's all that has to be German. The nib itself is most definitely Asian made. There's nothing fantastic about it. 
this one's not too bad. The one on my chrome one was terrible. Um, scratchy, super dry. You know, nothing fantastic. And I know a lot of people are wondering about changing nibs. What this has actually is a nib unit inside of here. It's just a plastic, you know, uh, similar to like what Edison pens have where it just screws in. Except this is just glued in. It's not made to screw in. It's, the specs aren't there to screw it in. So it's just glued at the top. How do I know this, you might ask? Well, on my Chrome one, it just fell out. I took the converter, pulled that out, and the whole nib unit came out the front. Which wasn't bad, because as you'll see in a minute, when I was making the uh, converter fit, it was made cleaning a lot easier. So I just slacked it back in place, and it's, you know, okay now. But... You know, not fantastic. You cannot take the nib out. Um, you might, I don't know if you can get um, inexpensive nib units. You might be able to get some to fit. I I don't think it's worth the trying. But anyway, I have this one all inked up. But as you can see, or maybe, uh, a lot of people had problems getting the converter out. And myself included, I actually had to get a pair of uh, padded pliers and yank this thing because it was in there for dear life. Uh, I'm just being careful because that's inked up. So, the problem was to make a pen cheap, you got to have tolerances that are way, way, way low. You can't have stuff fit really, really super tight because that takes time and time is money. So for this pen, it looks like when they cut the threads, they're very careless at the top and it kind of belled in. So, I don't know if you can see, but you can see, uh, it doesn't really come through in a video, but you can see, yeah, right there. Now that's brass colored and everything else is chrome. That's because I actually took a metal file and just point it in there like that, 45 degree angle, and just give it a couple turns. As you work it through, you just ream out just enough to get rid of that lip that's in there that's holding. Because basically what happened is you had a lip that was just pinching the cartridge and you just could not, or the converter rather, and you could not pull it out. So once you eliminate that, the, the cartridge goes in and out with no troubles whatsoever. And I'm getting ink all over the place. I love it. So that's what I have to say about that. We pop the car, the uh, converter back in. Also, the cartridges that come with it. I notice I'm, I don't use cartridges ever, so I don't have any experience with them at all. But I noticed the ones that came with it do not, their diameter isn't this. So you put it in there and you're able to wiggle it all around. This is the cartridges, not the converter. Converter fits nicely. But the cartridges, I was able to put it in there and you could spin it around. And I mean, it's not really that much of a problem. It seals so all right, I imagine. And you can write with it. But I don't know, it just seemed ill fitting to me. That might be true of. Um, all cartridges you maybe someone who knows can leave a link in the comments anyway let's see a uh, writing test shall we so I have this inked up with Mont Blanc Royal Blue I believe um, it's a nice ink just blow out these couple of drops so here we have the Visionaire I don't know if you can hear that. I don't know how well the audio is on this. Um, but there's a little feedback to the nib. It's not buttery smooth, but... I spell it right? It's not buttery smooth, but it's, you know, it's a nice nib. Nice. Um, it's a decent nib. Um, it works okay. Um, yeah, there's no flex to the nib. But it does write re decently wet. Just how I like it. Not overly wet, but not dry by any means. It's a decent pen. $35, no. But, decent pen. I mean, you stand that up to uh, Pilot Metropolitan. This one's only $15. I mean, it writes the same. The nib on this is the same as a medium Pilot nib. Um, just about.
So I mean the the, uh, the the line thickness is about the same. So if you have a Metropolitan, that's what you can compare it to. But for fifteen dollars versus thirty-five, go with the Pilot. Bottom line, it's not a terrible pen. Were you ripped off? Were we ripped off? No. I mean, we got what we paid for. It's in my opinion, it's a, it's a the finish on the outside. It's pretty. It looks nice. Um, it's it's a it's a desk pen. It's not a uh, carry around and use pen. But it's nice to say, oh, I have a shiny pen. Now, people who know pens will look at it and be like, ah, it's a piece of garbage. But for people who don't know what fountain pens are, don't use fountain pens in the day to day, you know, you get a little up in your class there. Um, now, I was fortunate to get a refund on these pens. I wrote him. I ended up writing him after he shipped it, but before I got it, I told him I don't want it after reading more about it. Because I just bought it on a whim. I saw it. And I'm like, cool. You know, see what he can come out with. Because if it was legit and he designed it, that'd be cool. Because I would have the first pen of possibly a, a great new company. But unfortunately, that was not the case. And this is just a, uh, you know, mass produced Chinese pen. Nothing more, nothing less. And so there you have the Visionaire Fountain Pen. I would stay away from them personally. I mean, I don't hate the pen, but I definitely would not buy another one. I would not recommend it to anyone. Um, I did give away the silver one, but, you know, I gave it to someone who doesn't write with fountain pens. They're not really going to notice the difference. And they were just excited to have a fountain pen. And thus ends the review. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you're new, don't forget to subscribe, uh, thumbs it up if you liked, uh, liked what you saw. And, um, you know, in the comments, tell me what you thought. If you have, you know, if I was wrong about anything, you know, hit it up in the comments. Thanks, guys.